can you tell the school teacher vibes <laughs> all right it's gonna be a bit reflective hey everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video with me JK are you subscribed to the channel and if you're not please do subscribe to the channel why are you not subscribed to the channel you're making me feel some type of way bro please don't do that don't do that uh, thank you so much to everybody who is subscribed to the channel thank you so much for getting through to December with me I really really do appreciate all the support and the love that you have given and shown this channel and myself I really hope we grow and 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 grow, and grow, 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 grow in leaps and bounds especially in 2022 I am envisioning envisioning it I'm envisioning it, I'm manifesting it, I feel like I believe and truly see it and feel it in my blood and in my spirit that 2022 is going to be my year in terms of social media content creation, in terms of campaigns, in terms of life, in terms of shmonies, in terms of YouTube, I really really feel it and believe it and I'm manifesting it to be my year in 2022. So. Anyway, I hope you guys are good and you're doing well. I'm wearing a very uh, white uh, school teacher vibes, you know, uh, shirt today. I felt like just keeping it clean, keeping it white, keeping it simple, subtle, beautiful. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I asked you guys some questions, uh, thanking you guys for the support that you've shown me on the uh, sharing my story video the Amanda Dupont the gen gender based violence video that was really really hard for me to film and because of that I just felt like we need lighter content now we need good feel good content on the channel where we do not have to worry about crying and being sad it's December time okay even though this December she's not Decembering the way December's normally December, you know? But it's fine, I can't do it too. We're just gonna make do and make do with what we got, okay? So I asked you guys to ask me whatever questions. Let's, let's go, ask me whatever you wanna ask. And of course you did as usual and we're gonna get into it. These are have you ever thought about not getting married and enjoying your life as an independent free woman? Now, I think you can still be married and free I don't feel like you're, you're tight. If you're saying free in the sense that, you know, free to date, be with however many partners, sexual partners and personal private partners as I want, I hear that chat. But um, I've never really thought about not getting married, but I've also never really thought about getting married. So it's, it's never really been a here or there kind of situation. It's always just been, I'm going to live my life the way that I want to live my life and whatever god the universe manifesting and all of that culminating together brings into my life then i will attend to it when that time comes so if a husband comes into my life great if it doesn't that it's also great we're still going to live and move forward and and live good lives and 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 just be wonderful children okay so i really don't i've never really thought about it um, it is currently the life that I am living, an independent one, a free one, and I'm not married. So um, if this is the life that it is, then <laughs> I'm laughing at ya. Okay, I'm like, hmm, catch me outside. How about that, please? Yes, I, 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 I'm actually living it right now, so I really don't have a problem. If that changes and I have to end up entering into a new chapter of my life, then I'll attend to that as well. But... For now, nah, just casually living, child. Hi, Kateo. I've been, hey, girl. I've been single this whole year and I want to get back out, but I don't know how. I feel so out. Do you know what? Megatron, Delta, Beta, number one, all of them, they have really, really impacted the dating scene negatively like the panasonic the transformer sonic it really has impacted the dating scene quite negatively because now it's different to just you know it, it just doesn't feel the same to just go out and hang out at a bar that is full to capacity and meet people or go out to parties or whatever either we can go to parties but when we're out and about you're wearing a mask there's just a level of just discomfort with it now because of megatron 
and Panasonic and um, I know how difficult that is uh, but you know if you're ready to get out there there are different ways in which you can date now you do really need to start considering online dating if it's not a thing that you're considering just start talking to people there's hinge there's tinder there's bumble there's i don't know elite singles there's whatever there's just so many online platforms where you can actually date and i use them well when I was dating and single, I used them freely because I was just like, okay, how am I going to meet people if I don't put myself out there? The birds are going crazy today. And I am an introvert, so it's really, really different, difficult for me to just be out and about every weekend meeting people. But I feel like if you are ready to go back out there, Maybe start considering spending time with friends, going out a little bit more, uh, safely of course, um, and also just consider online dating. It could work. I know some of these places are just cesspools of just, <laughs> honey, catch me outside. <laughs> but it's worth a shot you never know i've met great people from online dating i've met I've, I've been in two really long relationships from online dating because i never go anywhere so and for me i always love to chat to somebody first back and forth on the phone then video call then facetime then all of that blah 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 jazz and then when i'm ready comfortable maybe a month or a month in a couple of weeks in or whatever if i'm ready and i'm comfortable then i'll meet um, um, that person live and then we'll take it from there but i do feel like be kind to yourself in that period because dating is for the brave okay <laughs> dating here in this here country is for the brave child okay so be brave about it but you're gonna be fine honey uh try it out slow by slow go out spend more time with friends spend more time with uh, uh friends not family per se in this context but friends and also try out online dating hey house cat when are we putting up the christmas tree now by the time you watch this video you will have seen my decorate with me vlog and you will know that i did not put up a christmas tree this year um i've got so much greenery and plants that i actually just ended up putting uh um fairy lights and and, and what do they call them yeah all these these uh, lights on my plants except this one of course on my plants and all of that so that it just I can light up the house in the evening um, I just don't feel very Christmassy this year I just don't have that thing about Christmas that okay it's a helicopter I don't have that thing about Christmas that a lot of people do it's just not my cup of tea i don't have fond memories of christmas growing up but i explained that a lot in my vlog uh so you'll know that i haven't put up a christmas tree but there are christmas decorations around the house and there's a wreath on my door and all of that so i tried i tried but i don't feel like this december is decembering for me like that and this christmas is christmas ring for me like that but uh, you'll see you've probably seen the video by now hey cat when did you start your mental health journey therapy etc i started the therapy in it's about three years now when i started therapy i don't do therapy every single month i do not have the crazy budget to handle therapy like that so i'll have months on and months off with therapy um and then there's also medication so it's been roughly about i think this is my third year if not fourth, I don't quite recall. We're in 2021, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, it could actually be four years. So I have been um, taking my mental health journey very, very seriously from when I was di diagnosed. And um, there's a video of when I got diagnosed on my channel with uh, generalized anxiety disorder. So it's been a couple of years. Um, the same lady asked me, what made you decide that you'd like to take better care of your mental state honestly i saw what it was doing to me physically my body as well um the breaking out the skin getting really really irritated the lack of sleep the constant body pains that you don't necessarily know where they come from the convulsion and feeling repulsed by food now you don't want to eat and um lack of sleep 
did I say that already? Probably. And also just how I was interacting with people around me. I was very irritable. I just wanted to be inside all the time. I didn't care to be around other people. I was very socially anxious as well. I didn't want to go to family functions. I didn't want to do anything. It had gotten to a point that it was so debilitating even to my life. I didn't want to go into work meetings. I was okay with going to work and actually just working from my desk all day, every day. I was okay with that. Not having to integrate with colleagues unless I was at the in the kitchen making coffee or tea or sitting in uh, um, or making my way to the bathroom or something. That would be the only time I'd interact with people and I was perfectly fine with that. Um, so that's when I realized that that's not okay. That's not, that's not a good and full and grounded life to live. There's, there must be more to life than this. And then that's when I decided that I need to pay more attention to my mental state and my mental health. And ever since I've been a big advocate for mental health, you guys know this as you watch this, I've been a big advocate for it. I want to talk about it. I want to make people aware that it isn't you know wrong to want to look after yourself especially in this way so yeah i hope that answers your question let me drink some water i'm hungry i haven't eaten um what was the best thing you did for yourself whilst you were single best thing <sighs> that's a good question i think for me it was just taking that time out to be by myself and reconnect with myself the one thing that happens a lot of the time when you're in a relationship with somebody it becomes sure about yourself sometimes you know sometimes sometimes you know uh, but then it also becomes about us and the unit us together a team the team that we are and uh, i couldn't i couldn't i had lost major bits of myself when i was in a relationship i wasn't reading as much because the relationship was really just toxic in and of itself and i'd allowed it to continue for so long that um i really wasn't paying attention to myself the way i wanted to so when i was single i did everything that i loved to do i ate the good foods that i wanted to eat i read a lot more i um treated myself and i romanticized myself a little bit more um i remember the one big thing that i did for myself when i was single was buy a laptop and it's not because i was single if i was in a relationship i wouldn't or whatever but i i tend to be more uh, gentle fluid with myself especially when it comes to money as well when i'm single i tend to be just like you know what girl you want it you want it you work hard chad look you work really really hard you are constantly throwing out two three videos a week for youtube and you need a laptop to be able to edit your stuff you owe it to yourself to get yourself a laptop if i was in a relationship i'd think about it and then i'd want to talk to the other person about it and then the other person might be like ah maybe wait it out whatever whatever maybe fix the old one whatever so i think that was the <laughs> biggest thing that i did for myself when i was single because it just all became about me and looking after me and my mental state i went into the gym quite a lot at well until uh Kovivi decided again to come back with the second wave or was it the third wave at that time when i stopped gym again this year in may or something um so i stopped that and whatever so it was just uh, that when i was single i went back to that i was at the gym i was training i was doing this so um yeah so there's there's small incremental things that became big it collectively became a huge thing that really um stood out for me when i was single but really it was just focusing on myself any tips on buying a house for the first time from someone who has gone through the process how long do i need to save for curveballs etc to be honest i would be lying if i said I know I'm, I'm very good with financial management and all of that kind of stuff when it comes to buying a house. The reason why I say that is because I contacted the bank when I bought my property and I was fortunate enough to be given a 100% loan. So ever since then, I haven't contacted the bank to buy another property. Maybe at that point, I won't get a 100% loan, you know, but the bank offered to buy the house outright 
full for the full amount for me and I was paying the bank in bond installments each and every single month so uh, I suppose things you need to look out for is looking at interest rates and looking at just read up on um, the property market find out what's going on with property management where if you want to stay somewhere where would be would work for you and your lifestyle your aesthetic all of that what can you afford what can't you afford um, start taking your money a lot more seriously because once you start buying a house the bank is not gonna play okay the bank is not gonna play the bank repossesses the bank takes back its stuff if you cannot so don't ever put yourself in a position where you want to contact the bank to buy a house meanwhile your income is unstable and you or you you're wasteful with money so i think you need to have very difficult conversations with yourself before you start thinking about buying a house um and and how much you need to save and all of that it all depends on how much money where are you thinking of buying the property are you going to take a loan uh, and if you are going to take a loan with the bank, how much will they cover for you and how much will they need from you up front? So these aren't questions that I can answer for you and say, do this, do this. All I can say is phone around, shop around, find out, uh, find out interest rates, call the bank, speak to somebody who is in uh, 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 property management property assets in the bank and all of that and then you'll be able to be able to to be able to you'll be able to gauge where you're at um aside from that i can't really tell you much more than that uh, because no one buys a house outright unless you're like like buku covered you know what i mean so everybody needs to get help when you buy a house because who's got two million rand lying around in the bank or 700, 800,000 rand lying in the bank for, you know, like a two bedroom townhouse. No one has that kind of money lying around in the bank. Well, no normal people. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Turn 29, how does one stay motivated? I've been trying to have second income this whole year. To be honest, I have answered this particular question multiple times and at Probably in all the Q and A's that I have filmed, I have gotten a question, how does one stay motivated? And I always say, connect with people, things that you love, connect with friends, connect with family. So I really do not want to answer this question because I've answered it probably over five, 10 times on this channel. And uh, I've maybe touched on it in vlogs as well. So I really do recommend that you watch some of my Q and A's because that's where I talk about staying motivated. Um, and that will help that will help okay okay how do you plan your finances and investments I've got a financial advisor and at that point the financial advisor you know uh, hold, uh, we, we cover things like policies investments future finances plans money market accounts all that kind of stuff so I don't there isn't a a systematic way in which I plan I just know that I put money away and when I put money away then I know that it goes to this or whatever and then I set myself up in terms of wills and policies for myself if something happens to me I've got a life policy if something happens to me I don't want my family uh, stuck with the burden of having to handle my um, expenses like my car expenses and house and this and all of that stuff so i want my family to be able to to finish off and pay off my debt or whatever and also still have then some left over uh for themselves and there's also policies for my family members and all of that so these are conversations that you sit and you have uh these conversations with um uh, advisors I have a advisor from uh, two advisors from Liberty Life and Alexander Forbes so it's that kind of you just you just because we're not all, all going to be financially sound we're not all going to be financially know everything about prime rates and interest rates and this 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 and maybe put your money here instead of here and whatever so it really helps to have a financial advisor to come to you and say okay this uh, what what or this year let's look at revising your life policy or this this or your retirement fund all that kind of stuff so it really helps to have a financial advisor i hope that helps um. <laughs>
Hey Gutli, what industry is your nine to five in? And would you quit to be a full-time YouTuber? I don't think I would quit to be a full-time YouTuber. I've got other dreams and passions that um, I want to fulfill that would force me to continue working. So no, I wouldn't do full-time YouTubing. Um, but my nine to five, again, spoken about it so many times on the channel. I am in the construction industry. Uh, favorite book of the year. I have filmed my top 10 books. The books are actually right here. I can hear this. Those are the books. It's a stack of books. I filmed the top 10 favorite books of the year. But I would say my ultimate favorite one out of all of them. I actually don't know it might um, my ultimate favorite one out of all of them I really actually don't know it might be either between under the Udala trees the vanishing half which I think I read in January this year or uh, a man called Uva <laughs> there's too many I really can't I, I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I've got a top three top five and that's okay thank you for sharing your story uh, you're so strong I love you so much question how are you though I'm actually pretty good um, there was a freedom in do doing that video there's a freedom and there's 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 power that comes with um, letting go of what you've been holding in for so long um, it essentially just says that you know what this thing just doesn't have that power over me anymore and I am good and and after recording that video I won't even lie to you I felt so good after that I felt lighter it hurts yes but I felt lighter and I felt like I've, I've taken back the power that this Pandora's box was holding over me. And I really, really feel good. I feel like um, as a social media content creator, I do also have a responsibility to raise awareness to things that affect us as women, as people, as South Africans, as Africans, as what we, I, you just need to talk about it. I'm not saying that I have an issue with people that don't talk about uh, things like this on, on their social medias each to their own you know some people just want to keep it light and all of that but I my social media has always been about me so I talk about serious things and it's really good to bring awareness to people so that there might be somebody who's sitting there behind the screen and 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 saying that if she could get out I can too you know, if she left that relationship after having been, you know, beaten or whatever, I can too, you know, I'm not alone in this. And if anybody, if one person can feel like that because of my video, then I've done it. I've done it. Ma'am, what are your December plans? What are you doing Christmas deco and haul? Nope. I've already decorated very very minimal compared to the other years again i said i don't have a christmas tree um i just am not feeling christmas this year i'm really just not feeling it i'm not and that's okay i'm not feeling december this year um i will be going away in december provided that uh covid megatron doesn't you know make things a little bit worse than they are right now because they are quite bad now as well but provided covid megatron <laughs> Omicron doesn't make things worse right now and whatever I am think uh, I am looking to take two trips you'll see all of that you'll see all of that um, aside from that no just really gonna be chilling I I don't find joy in traveling during COVID hey I actually don't it's not fun you're constantly wearing a mask you're restricted you can be in certain spaces not with everybody then you have to uh, it's a bit too much for me. It's a bit too much for me. Uh, your thoughts on crash diets, they don't work. They might work for a little bit of time, but with everything comes hard work, darling. Hard work. You want to lose weight? Hard work. You want to gain weight? Hard work. You want to tone up? Hard work. Everything comes with hard work work and it, it 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 goes over a period of time there's a longevity there it goes over a period of time so if you're expecting a crash diet to help you and then in the next month you've lost 10 kilograms okay sure but then what happens now you haven't integrated it into your life you've just done that you've concentrated you focused for that month and then you stop 
and then you start slipping into old habits and then you gain that weight back or you lose that weight for people who are trying to gain and blah 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 you start slipping into old habits whereas if you make it your lifestyle and you tell yourself that this is a marathon and not a sprint then you'll see that it becomes integrated into your life you start changing the way you eat and you realize that oh my god i've been eating bad food all week this week now i need to eat salads i need to clean up i need to detox i need to dig there i need to whatever and it becomes integrated and part of your life so i don't necessarily believe in crash diets at all i don't believe in crash diets at all, at all. okay how's your new relationship <laughs> It's over. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's not new. I feel like maybe I just need to just give a little backstory here. This person and I have known each other for a, maybe about nine years now. And uh, we were together in our early 20s mid 20s for about two and a half years so we know each other really well it's not an issue of oh it's a new thing whatever it's new now yeah now it's been it's been five months now but we've known each other for forever so we're more like friends than we are like lovers but we are lovers too don't get me wrong <laughs> but we've known each other for a really long time it's great it's great it's this relationship has um, now taught me this relationship now second go around has taught me a lot about myself and it has taught me um, a lot about how I approach my partner going forward into a new relationship um, I've controlled how I respond now I listen to respond and not listen to react and that's something that he's taught me. So I've learned a lot of things from this particular one. Um, not only that, I, I've, I've realized that relationships must be nine enjoyments. You know, it must be nine enjoyments. Uh, we have our own love languages separately, but we also say that our love languages are food and music because one of the things we do the most we were talking about potentially having a budget for food because one of the things that we do the most is <laughs> food eat out so um yeah so it's really good right now it's really really good it's it's fun it's serious it's um it's it's just uh it's calming it's it's relaxed nothing feels forced um, I don't worry. I don't feel like I'm being given reasons not to trust him or whatever. It's just Easy going which I absolutely love I love um, Relationshipically have you previously ever tried online dating? What are your thoughts on it? Definitely. I've tried it twice So and I think that it's great uh, twice or three times. It's great and out of uh, those two times three times two of those relationships were long-term relationships so for me i believe i will die on the hill of online dating even though now it may have changed and it's a bit of a cesspool as people say um even even with that i i believe i believe i will die on the hill of online dating because i feel like you can actually meet really good people online people who are also just nervous as you are about meeting people outside in the real world well that's also the real world, but you hear what i'm saying physically and all of that so i believe it i believe it do it try it live it you know there's so many platforms where you can do it just do it just do it, honey. Do it. Not a question. Thanks, baby girl. Thank you, honey. Thank um, you. Are you still on meds for anxiety? If so, which meds? I am too, and not enough people talk about this on here. I do talk about anxiety, but I don't talk about what meds I'm on because I don't want people Googling what kind of meds I'm on and then making ill-informed decisions and whatever. The meds that I am on are meds that have been pre prescribed by my doctor. And I don't want you thinking that, oh, but I'm using these meds and she's using these meds. Does it mean that my meds aren't as effect? No. Hence why I do not talk about what kinds of meds i'm on the names of my meds but i do talk about anxiety quite a lot i hope that answers your question no question just want to say thank you so much for the content you've been creating you're welcome <laughs>
you're welcome what are your december plans looking like i said that not much not much i'm just going to try my enjoyments you know here and there you know but it's really it 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 hasn't felt like december for me since 2019 2020 didn't feel like december 2021 doesn't feel like december so how's your relationship with the boy going i spoke i spoke about that it's going great my enjoyments it's going really good uh how do you cope on bad days that you can't even get out of bed and do the bare minimum i've also said this i've spoken about this multiple times but on bad days you can just allow yourself to be in that bad day allow yourself if you don't want to get out of bed and you don't have to then don't and if you have to then try and focus on things that make you happy or at least spark joy you know speak to people that you know are going to lift your mood and lift your spirit um that kind of thing no question but i love you please come to botswana someday i've got a friend a very good friend in botswana so yeah once megatron decides to chillax a little bit i've been talking to dimpo about coming to botswana so i i will i will come to botswana i will come to botswana um I just want advice on how to have a balanced life. I'm a young mom and the advice states that the young moms aren't cutting it for me. So maybe you could help. Uh, you know, at balance, I'm going to make this my last question. But balanced life means for me integrating what makes you happy along with what keeps you grounded along with what makes you you right that's a balanced life for me so what makes me happy is spending time with friends and family and 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 going out and eating at restaurants that's that's my stuff that's my spillion doing youtube all of that stuff that is what makes me happy what keeps me grounded is my family staying connected to my family closely and making sure that those relationships are being nurtured and are close and all of that and i'm close to those people uh that's what keeps me grounded right uh also what keeps me grounded is my faith i pray quite a lot i do not i do not i do not lose my faith it's just always there it's gonna always be there so that's what keeps me grounded too right and then um so it's things that keep that 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 make you happy and also what keeps you grounded and to try and um have all of that happening in your life concurrently without one being too much over the other without one dominating over the other so sometimes moms will be moms and then they'll focus so much of themselves into being moms that they lose parts of themselves that make them independent women or a great girlfriend or a great wife or a great whatever so trying to have them there and creating that balance in such a way that it works for you and it fits into your life and your lifestyle that's how you can create a balanced life i'm not saying that mine is mine tends to go like this as well but i try to have it kind of plateau most of the time and that's by integrating parts of myself that i love that make me happy that make me me like spending time by myself and being the introvert and regenerating myself but also being around my family and also being close to my faith so it's a bunch of things um i hope that helps i'm gonna end it here don't forget to subscribe i will see you in the next video ah.